Hello, how's it going? How's it going? Magalan, home to a civilization of millions. Uh oh. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers, the Clerics, the Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the Comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magellan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Albs threatened the future of all the factions on Magellan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magellan. Selected to change the fate of Magellan. They should have used geometry for those glowing parts instead of texture. Uh oh. No. It's one sturdy airplane. Hey, look, there's conveniently one path for me to go up. Consequence for failure. That's not how you would try not to get shot.
so gnarly healing fruit. What was that? I should be dead. I better move before they come back to finish the job. Man, the character movement. Character movement does not feel good. It feels like what happens. Oh, I can't go through there, all right. Looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where Crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in the den. Finding that drone would be helpful. When the voice acting for the main character is not good, that's like half of a death sentence right there. And I'm, I'm not saying it's the actor's fault. It feels like the direction Certainly the direction was not good. Whether it's the actor's fault on top of that, I don't know. But... I'll take some tape. You never know when you're gonna need tape. Rotting technology from the old world. That's all that's here. Oh my I god. Move on. Blade Runner theatrical release.
the hunt begins. I'm here in enemy territory. What was Calix doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And for that, I'll need weapons and equipment. No shit. I'm also blaming the writer. This is upsetting me because I really wanted to like this game and it's just bad so far. Evacuation sequence. The graphics initiated. are alright. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions right. from service personnel. Hopefully the actual game is visit good. to their observing. Room. I guess, I guess this guy is trying to act as um, a guy who has no emotions, <laughs> except that's not, like, that's different from, like, guy just reading a script off a page, right? It's, it's a different thing. Oh, camera through the top of the world. All right. Make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer. If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me, you need to apologize. Both of these choices are stupid. Prove you're not the thief, and I might trust you. Only facts matter. How do you prove not you're not words. a thief? <laughs> That's stupid. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment if you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help yes, me? this is a game from That's the Gothic developers. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. This is the new You'll Diego that there. I'm talking to. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an Alb raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, and you got really lucky. An Albrader crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. 
Trust me, you don't want to run into a party of owls. But hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. What you say is logical. Logical, right. Does that mean you're coming? Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, God. cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. And you just take people in? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But, be you cleric, outlaw, or owl, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here? You didn't ever home? give me the choice to make a decision! Actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. For now. <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotmore territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath. You can earn the elected to buy armor and supplies. Trust me. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh. I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. And follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, oh my fucking you'll find God. Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. Oh We're my entering God. the hunting grounds of some of the local wildlife. Not now. Let's talk later. I didn't try to talk to you. I clicked to... Why do I still have an iron bar in quick slot one? I'm hitting I, clicking on rusty axe.
What? Oh my god. Oh my god, this game. Okay. Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without We've gone back. ten feet! Let's keep going. Alright. And follow me. Dude, what are the ruins over there? I wanted a new gothic the game, the and this is not it. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Wait, I have to talk to him again? This game is find anything useful. killing me. Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins. Haven't come out. The only good enemy is a dead enemy. Those rot boars saved you the job. So, you think the value is I didn't even mean to say that. I was hitting spacebar well, to try and skip reason. the dialogues. But for me, if Magellan is to survive, every life must count. Why haven't you joined a faction? I uh, cuz I you just met me 10 seconds ago. I don't want to talk to this guy. Reason, not the clerics. The clerics follow the god Kalan, who tells them technology will save us all. I don't believe in gods, and I don't think boxes of cables hold all the answers. Maybe I Why can't we just... Huh. They might call themselves the kings of the desert, but they're just hanging on to survival like the rest of us. And that survival oh my comes God. at the cost of anyone around you. What happened to all the people who made Gothic and Gothic 2 good? Where did they go? Does someone know the story there? Maybe I should join the Alps. You don't join the Alps. You're born one, or they choose you. That means most people are taken, rejected, and killed horrifically. The survivors are turned into mindless addicts. They might once have been free people like you and me. But Elix has turned them all into emotionless killing machines. Go to Zaykor if you want. But all that will await you is misery and death. Well, it's the same developer company. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Those are two different things! Well, not having interest is different from not being able to decide. Sort of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. I'm about to rage so, quit this game. Think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? I'm about to rage quit this game. Let's go into the ruins. Brave choice. Opportunities are there to be seized. Those clerics should be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, 
Jack sucks. Oh, that doesn't pause the game. All right, I'm about to die. Dude, this axe is awful. I thought it was E, not Q. That's why I was so confused. We should get moving. Let's go. All right. Oh god, that guy looks big. I'll get this one. This is a Maybe I can use it. This place will come in handy. I know, I just figured that out. We should get moving. Are you ready to go on? What? He hit the barrel with an axe and Let's that go. sent me flying. What even? We should get moving. <sighs> These ruins look like they were some sort of machine shop in the old world. You know about the old world. Only what I've learned on my travels. Ruins and wreckage. The old world is irrelevant. Irrelevant? It's where we all came from. The Berserkers want to grow the world back to what it was. The other factions picked through its bones, hoping to find the technology it left us. Holy shit, this is so slow. Wait, three out of five cleric weapon. <laughs> this is so unresponsive. Like, if you try to swing and it's not the right timing, it should do some kind of visible response. It shouldn't just, like, do nothing. I climb that. Got some soup and some tape. Except I can't take that tape for some reason.
four out of five cleric weapon. Oh yeah, you know it's a gothic game when you can use your campfire to cook meat. Which is why... Which is why Zelda is just a gothic clone. All the Nintendo fans will get mad if you say that though. Because it's supposed to be some amazing new never before it's not exactly a gothic clone, but, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Because prior to that Zelda game, nobody ever made an open world game where you wander around and fight monsters and go to towns and talk to people. It's unheard of. It's visionary and amazing. Oh god, there's like a giant dude out there. Okay, well the new the new Diego sucks. The old Diego is much better, I have to say. Okay, so there was another guy out front somewhere. Accidentally jumping, that's a sign of quality. Often find clerics at Edan. All the factions come here for intel, for resources. We all take from each other. At least it's just raids from the clerics for now. There have been wars in the past, and it does seem like there are some clerics who want to repeat those mistakes and take us back into open warfare. So I guess he's just going to wait here till I finish whatever. Why did I come here? It was to find the clerics, right? I don't even know because I didn't want to listen to the terrible dialogue. I need to find one more... Oh, this guy. No, I looted that guy. Can I, like, do a healing plant, like, raw? Oh, dude. I have a learning point. How do I learn my learning point? Clicking. Oh, I, I don't have enough of exit. Or strength or dexterity. And I have to be at a combat train. Alright, fine. Well, the whole reason why we came here is not in my quest log.
Oh yeah, Uncharted. Except, in this game you could actually fall and like Uncharted. Oh yeah, I have a jetpack, I forgot. Uncharted! This game doesn't look bad though, I'll give it that. Oh god! No! I almost rolled my ass off the roof. I don't want to sleep. Dude, I hate these controls. Oh my god. Only have six arrows. I want to boom headshot this guy. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, turn around. Turn around. Barf's blood like w one inch. Right. Oh, dude, why do they do this? If you're going to make all these buildings that I'm supposed to jump up, don't put crappy... Don't put crappy-ass craptitude that I hit my head on all the time. That's like level design 101. Crappy-ass craptitude. Don't you love this dramatic combat music that's being played? Did he attack my buddy down there? Is that what I just heard? What's going on? Oh no, that was just me taking damage. Um, do I have to like save? I want the 
find the last cleric. He's like the last Boy Scout. That could be the last Boy Scout in there. Dude! I can't pick up that whiskey. Whiskey Bravo Foxtrot. It's very important for this game to be third person so you can see your generic no personality character at all times. Oh, I'm just back up here. All right. I see how it is, game. took damage from that. Screw you, game. Yeah. Alright, I feel like I need a flashlight down here. Why can't I just pick that up and carry it? Feels like it's supposed to be important, this location. Right, doesn't it? Yet, it is just very dark. I don't know. I need, I need some kind of equipment torch. Maybe there's not five cleric weapons here and I'm supposed to get the fifth one somewhere else for some reason. Okay. Ow! Ow. I gotta use the right button. Well, I didn't parry a single time. But I've got lots of raw meat. What what about my cooked meat? Did I not I thought I cooked some meat. And I also picked up some pre-cooked meat. Items. Wouldn't that be... Oh, oh god, there's a whole row here. Fried meat. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I better assign a healing potion to a quick slot if I'm going to suck this bad at combat. Oh, I didn't mean to drink that! I 
hate this interface, dude. Oh, God. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll just go back. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to find all five of the things. But he doesn't even seem to know that that's an idea that we could have. I got these lockers, right? No, I don't want to sit. I wanted to loot. Okay, you know it's a gothic game when you can just sit down for no reason. Okay, get up. Use the campfire. Recipe. Fried meat. Prepare. Gotta be the last Boy Scout here somewhere. So I really strongly dislike random music like this in games because it has nothing to do with like what is happening or what I actually feel at this moment. It's just like playing. It's just playing. Can I like grab that and climb it? It doesn't look like there would be anything up there. Oh, silver nugget. Sulfur nugget. All right, I gotta find Diego. Where'd you go, Diego? Um, was there something around this? Way. This just loops back around. Yeah. Just loops back around. Let's go on to Goliath. Right. Follow me. Follow me. Helms in this area. How long ago was that? The raider crashed a week ago. It's been quiet. That wasn't there. 
was it? From the scouting party on the edge of the forest. It feels like something serious is brewing up there in Wait, Zaycor. what? And that's bad news for us all. I was looking for the fifth. There was some cleric items that I was looking for. I forget even what they were, but it was giving me like, oh, you got four out of five. So I was looking for five out of five, and I didn't find it. Oh, God. Oh, it is a gothic game. It's got dino dudes. Hey, I parry. The Q quick attack, I don't know. I guess you have to time that correctly. It doesn't, yeah. Yeah. I'll get it eventually. I'm gonna get so sick of him saying that. I'm gonna eat some soup, buddy, and a fried meat. Let's go. At least this game doesn't pause while you're eating fried meat, unlike a game I shall not mention. That was totally a scavenger from Gotham. Ah. Wait, was it telling me to hit it again? I, I don't understand what it's trying to tell me about the timing there. Don't understand. You should be able to make your way out alone from here. You can find supplies and get yourself back on your feet in Goliath. And then, the choice will be yours. So I can just leave whenever I want. You should try to get a better weapon and some armor before heading into the wastelands, but... It's up to you. Have a look around our community. See what we can offer you. What happens if you find an Alp here? They try and kill us, so we kill them. Except the Separatists, a group of Alps that has broken away from the That's just an out of context question. Maybe they could be allies. You think the Separatists will help you fight the Alps? Maybe these Separatists want to join the Free People. Maybe they're just another threat. But I'm sure that together we can defeat the Alps. But for now, the Separatists are outnumbered, without friends and defiant. They're already finding life is hard out here if you haven't joined one of the factions. That makes them jumpy, so I'd be careful around them. They're suspicious of everyone. Well, we have reached Goliath, but this is only the start of your journey. Look for me once you've settled in. You'll find me up at Warlord Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Warlord Ragnar's stronghold. I don't want to press L. <sighs> what? Mm! This All game right, kills me. In the name of the Hooded Crows, and with the power invested in me by the Warlords of Goliath, I hereby challenge you to state who you are and what you want. You should know that Goliath is eternally vigilant in its search for Alps. You're killing me here! Dura sent me here. Oh, you're one of Duras's hand me ons, are ya? You better think about reporting to Ragnar. Or one of the other warlords when you get in then. They'll check you're not an Alb spy. All right, all right. You can go in. But all weapons must remain sheathed. Start anything, and a paladin will turn you to ash faster than you can say, I wish that Duras guy hadn't sent me here. 
Oh, and don't steal anything or flash technology around. I don't expect any more or less from you. Understood. Good. Yeah. Then I welcome you in the I've just got this jetpack on my butt. So, what can I do there in my stay? Can you handle a weapon? Yes. Then you'll find work. We're short of people since the attacks began. This place doesn't sound too safe. Where is? With the Albs looking to tear down this whole world. It sounds like you're expecting trouble. Outlaws, clerics, and now the Albs starting wars, and that's before we talk about mutants. Where have you been if you don't think there's trouble in the world? But don't worry, you'll be safe here. No Albs getting past me. Is there somewhere I can stay in Golia? Maybe down by the tavern or with the cultivators. Try the lower quarter. There's room there for honest men. Pay your way or work for your stay and you'll be welcome. We are the protectors of Magalan, and we welcome all free people here. Send me some relief. I need a piss, a sit down, and a different fucking view. And so his job is just to hammer a board. I think I get frustrated at games from a user no perspective or because you're approaching them from a game design perspective. No, I mean, this is just frustrating to try and play. I mean, what? <laughs> Why is it locked? No, I don't want to lock onto a human. What are you doing? Fuck. <clears throat> I think that's about all I can take of this game for now. How do I change my luck? <sighs> Z. 
and C. <sighs> I'm just gonna farm. Let's let's not worry about all these monster corpses. Because I want to eat some fried meat, and that's the only way that I can do that. The only way for me to eat fried meat... Oh, those guys were just living right here. I need a pickaxe. Shouldn't target lock you down a mouse wheel? I don't know. I mean, that's the sort of thing that you just try... I don't really like games with lock-on, so I don't have a very strong opinion. Oh, I'll speak to Drick, why not? These fucking mutants! They're so desperate for Elix, they even try eating the mana from the seedlings. All at work, ruined by damn rot boars. There's mana in the seedlings. Of course. We feed them with it. But mana is made from Elix, right? The mutants can feel that. They think if they eat the plants, they'll get the Elix. But they get mana instead. At least that makes them weaker. Then they're easier to kill off. <laughs> but only after they've done the damage. That doesn't help me keep the seedlings alive, though. And that's my task. I look after all the seedlings here. A stick. Send Elder on duty. Put Elder on duty. But don't think which furry ass pinch dick you're gonna send to back him up. How the flying set of syphilitic raptor bags is one man supposed to guard this area alone? What's got you so angry? Angry? Me? I've been ordered to stand here, balls swinging in the wind, with rock boards loose she out sure there. sure sounds with angry. Albs crawling around in the undergrowth ever since that raider crashed out to the west. Oh yeah, why would I be upset? Because I can't think what I've done to be left here, so I can have my man jewels gnawed off by a pack of mutant canines. It's like they want this town to be overrun. You don't need to worry about those rock wars anymore. They're dead. Dead? Oh, great. That's perfect. Now when their friends turn up, they're gonna be really pissed. You know, rock bars will eat anything, and I mean anything. I need some damn backup. Alvar was supposed to be guarding the seedling field. But can you see him? No, because that lazy, duty-skipping strip of an ass rag has disappeared. You couldn't go and find him, could you? If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it with company. Did you see the Albrader crash? 
Sure, I had a ringside seat here. Whoosh, blam, serves the bastard right. Flying around up there, raining shit on other people. Got some of his own shit back from someone, didn't he? And did you see who shot the raider down? No, someone went foom on the thing down it went. Whatever happened, happened quick. It goes to show relying on technology is pure madness. Nobody would get me in a one of those infernal machines at any rate. Machines are against nature. You see what comes of them when it crashes out of the sky. I'll find Alvar. I was hoping you'd say that. You could start by asking Drogue. He's probably on duty over at the town gate. If anyone knows where Alvar is, it's Drogue. Those two are best buddies. game That's a big ruby. Didn't want to use my jetpack and show off technology.
cave down there. This town is way more spread out than I would like it to be. How is that gun not technology? Don't be showing off technology, my ah, butt. Gun fast. What news from the fields? You hear Yoris still looking for volunteers to go up to the converter? Good luck to him. I don't know anyone who's going to risk that journey in a hurry. Yeah, yeah. What have we here? Welcome to the Berserkers. You want to make it all the way to the top? You must observe our sacred traditions. Most sacred of all, never have an empty glass. <laughs> Tell me, what brings you here? Do you know a berserker named Alvar? Oh yeah, I know Alvar. That asshole almost tore down half the tavern with his friend Argor a few days ago. Those two drink harder than anyone I've seen drink for a long time. I haven't seen Alvar since. If you find him, you tell him not to show his face in here again. Do you know where Alvar could be? No, and I don't want to. You could ask his drinking buddy Argor down at the He pit. just said if you find him, blah blah blah. You hear an outlaw's been spotted up around the main gate. You're the second person to tell me that. Hey, can I help you? What do you want here? Wants to know. My name is Born. I am the chief overseer of the seedling farms here in Goliath. Let me welcome you to Goliath, the jewel of Magala. Here you can see what our world once was and what she can be again. But tread carefully whilst you're here. Some of the plants we're cultivating in the seedling farms are fragile. Damaging them means exile to the Valley of the Damned. So I'd watch your step. It'll make life easier all around. Life is a lot more comfortable here in Goliath than I What do you mean, the jewel of Magalan? You've seen what a wasteland the rest of the world is. Zaykor's ice sheets, Ignidon's lava fields. Only here in Idan can you see Magalan as it was before the comet hit. I know. I know, what use is history when staying alive takes every scrap of effort we have? But if we don't know where we came from, how can we know where we're going? This land around us was desolate only a few years ago. If people hadn't remembered what it was like before, how could it have grown and bloomed again? That's true of people too. Plant the right idea, and they become something amazing too. But only if they know their past and believe in a better future. And that's what we really grow here. We grow hope. We grow hope. That's great. That's great. Well, there's a face I haven't seen before. Newcomer, aren't you? You have a problem with new faces? Problem? Me? Oh, I never have problems, only solutions. And I reckon we can solve problems for each other. What problems? Of the financial kind. The kind where I've got money I'm just looking to give away, and you have empty pockets to fill. I'm listening. I'll bet you look like the listening kind. Except maybe being impaled at the unmentionables with a hot, rusty poker. But. And I'm getting to the point. Here's me, right? A loyal and honest berserker. Someone who knows what's right, what's legal, and what's not. Then, there's a newcomer like you. Well, any newcomer has the potential to make honest mistakes when it comes to legalities. And if you did, then I, as an honest berserker, could help put such mistakes right in a way that earns us both elixir. You want to trade illegal goods? Illegal here is legal there. Law is just a matter of geography, isn't it? So, if you were to get your hands on rare, legally questionable items, I could, being a loyal berserker, take that trouble off your hands. Rare items? 
rare is where the Alexa is. You could spend your life dreaming of Alexa, or spend your Alexa living your dreams. Your choice. What items do you trade? Trade? No, no, that would be illegal. No, no, I don't trade. I run a sort of lottery, one where you pay me for a chance to win the item of your choice. I have to gamble. You could say that, but once you offer the right price, the odds are you'll always be a winner. I only have a limited selection. We are in Golia, and the laws make a lot of items illegal. Well, you know what they say. One man's forbidden is another man's profit. Of course, as a loyal and honest berserker, you won't catch me saying things like that. I want to make a trade. Always happy to trade. your crust. Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar, patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. Actually not from Idan. Oh, hopefully you have good news from the other lands. Otherwise, this will be a very short guest performance for you here. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Idan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. Yes. Correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a cultivator, let alone that of a warrior. If you want Warlord's armor? Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. Talk later and hear your news. 
With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. That's more of a reason. If we keep doing the same things, this war won't end. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Doing the same thing again and again, it's insane. But what can be done that the warlords haven't done already? We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war rather than how we win it? Come with me. I need someone to watch my back when I go look for some supplies. And I know I can trust you. It's like some gale force winds here. Stormson, Cauldron is counting on me. And there are so many wounded. You patch them up. I want to give people a chance to fight back. If I can pull this off, you will have fewer wounded to worry about. Are you in need of medical supplies? It'll take time to prepare them, I'm afraid. With all the fighting, we haven't any stocks left. Do you help everyone who asks? It is a healer's duty, especially in these times of war. And it is needed, bitterly. Which is what I have heard from everyone we picked up. Terrible. I wish I could offer aid to all those in need, but it seems not even our magic helps us keep up with supplies. You must hear a lot about what's going on. I don't need to hear. I get to see the results. The magic the Albs are using is so destructive. Somehow they're managing to use pure Elex, and it makes me fear for our warriors. It's more powerful than Berserker magic? It's more destructive. With the damage it's causing, I can't believe it isn't tearing the Albs apart, too. It must hurt them. Hurt? Yes. But they're trained to reject emotions and feelings. Yes. They say Elex makes machines of men. But I have heard there are Albs who have escaped their addiction. I wish I could meet one. Knowing what they feel might help me assist others to overcome their addiction. What do you know about Elix withdrawal? I met an Alp separatist. He was brought in as a prisoner. His external wounds weren't so bad, but internally, emotionally, he was trying to cope with all those withdrawal symptoms, and at the same time, he was rediscovering his emotions. All that pain, all that confusion. What happened to him? Where is he? He died. It was all just too much. I wish I could have learned more from him. If he could leave, so could others. Maybe that could offer hope to us all. I don't even want to know. This town is way too sparsely laid out for the number of people and the number of things to do. Nah. And that was actually a good thing about Gothic, was that it was more compact when you got to towns and stuff. At least, my memory of it is such. Hey, did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliath? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them, if you know how I could get a chance to do that. If I did know something about them, that would be good for both of us. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of claret weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The Berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is. That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you dead. 
Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. What will you pay me for them? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexa if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to... Everyone's just walking by this super secret. I'll sell the weapons to you. Sell? No. Think of this as a finder's fee. I'll make sure these get back to the right place. Quality. I don't want to live with the barbarians. I think they're stupid. So, you decided to stick around. Well, I've been given a job by Warlord Ragnar that I think might suit you. If you want to stay around for longer. Tell me about the job. Well, the task I have on offer should profit you, and though it's not the best way to sell our community to you, it should demonstrate that we're open about things here. You see, there was a murder committed just outside Golian a few months ago. A rather dedicated berserker named Ascor was killed. There's been an investigation, but no definitive answers as to why he was killed. So, Ragnar wants me to follow up and find the murderer. And what can I do? Well... I'm having trouble getting answers from people. Maybe an outsider will have more success getting them to open up. Would you talk to the suspects and see what they have to say? That dialogue choice is still there. Tell me about the victim. His name was Ascor. He was a warrior, newly promoted from Cultivator. Ragnar had high hopes for him, but Ascor wasn't popular. Wait, if he was killed a few he weeks ago... Eve three months ago. No one knew where he'd gone. And it wasn't like he had many shards to up and disappear with. Then one of Ragnar's patrols found Ascor's body rotten up in the forest. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a sword. Whoever did it was strong enough to overcome him, but clumsy. They didn't find anything on Ascor to point to who might be the murderer. I'll find the murderer. Ragnar wants answers. He seems determined to find out what happened. Myself, I don't know if we'll ever know what happened. But if we can eliminate these five suspects, he might let this go. And who knows? Maybe one of them did do it, and you'll get the proof. The suspects talk to me. Tell them you're investigating on Ragnar's orders. They'll answer your questions. Let me know if you need help. Remember, my sword belongs to you. Does Ragnar think a berserker murdered Ascor? Ascor was killed with a sword. And there aren't too many people who use swords outside of Edan. But if Ragnar's right, it's a false flag operation. Must be someone who was outside the walls at the time of the crime. So Ragnar drew up a list of five suspects. No idea why these five exactly, but Ragnar will have his reasons. Who are the suspects? A group of people who were out there in the forest at the time of the murder. First on the list is Baron. He's a guard. Well, he's supposed to be a guard. As far as I know, he doesn't have an alibi. But I think the only real reason he's on the list is because he knew Ascor when he was younger. Then there's Thor. I have no idea why Ragnar would put him. Third is you want. No, wait, right click skips. Okay. What do you want me Good. to ask them? Where they were three months ago around Mana's Eve when the crime was committed. What they thought of Ascor. I doubt you'll get a confession. Where can I find them? They're all still up.
Okay, I'm playing abduction. Ragnar is a butt. Why would I talk to him? Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? The fish rots from the head down. Don't go too far. I'm guessing wherever you came from sees conditions far worse than you find here. Despite the attacks we are suffering, bear that in mind before you criticize. And it also takes guts to confront me. So you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust, and you can... I think I'm done playing for now. Any unsaved progress will be lost. I think there's some other games that I could get. Like, uh, I got to put in my credit card information. I'm going to take a short break, get some drinks, and we'll be back in a second.
only half done. You play activation. What? No. Why is there you play? Why is there you play? I don't want you play. Is there you play? Why is there, is there you play? You play. I already voiced my opinion on Steam Direct. It seems like it allows much more shovelware to come through. Well, I mean, Steam is two things, right, actually. It's a distribution platform that makes it easier to download and patch software and stuff. And it's a storefront, right? In terms of the distribution part, why shouldn't Steam have anything that the internet has, right? Um, but in terms of the storefront, like placement of games and things, uh, I don't see. I don't see why I would want to see shovelware on that. So they're like two different things, and I think it's instructive to think of them as two different things. Shovelware on that. So they're like two different things, and I think it's. I don't want you play. If I'd known this was you play, I probably wouldn't have even bought it. No. So they're like two different things. I think it's I unclicked don't want you play that if I'd known this was you Alex was not thrilling me. Um No, I'm just not going to play this game if I have to be you play. That's just No. 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 Can I play the game without that? Play. All right. How do I do a refund? How do I refund? Like, does it say you play required on the store page? I've never refunded a game on Steam, but I'm about to. It doesn't say warning requires bullshit Ubisoft bullshit to play. Help Steam support. I want to request a, re how do I request a refund? Yeah. 
It won't let me type the real reason, which is fucking you play. Why isn't there a menu item here that says fucking you play? All right. We're not playing South Park. Oh, it does say third party DRM where? Where does it say that? So I know where to look in the future. Where am I looking for this? Oh, down here. Okay. It's like so small on the, it should be like up here in big letters. too bad I wanted to play that game and I wanted to support the development of games like that but I will not make a Uplay account to play an offline game that is bullcrap Well, that might be it. I might stop streaming and go play some PUBG while non-streaming. Because... Did I play Thimbleweed Park? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No, I've been streaming PUBG all the time. I want to play not streaming. Fortnite looks incredibly unappealing to me. I have no interest in playing that game at all. No interest whatsoever. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'll see you later, guys. If I decide to play LX some more, I will stream that as well. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later on.